Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my Moto G third generation because they have updated to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Motorola has been doing a very good job keeping their devices updated. Hopefully the Moto E is going to get the Marshmallow update, no guarantees yet. Android version 6.0 right here, as you can tell, Marshmallow. Let's go over what's changed. First of all, on the bottom left, instead of the dialer icon, there is a quick voice search option. Something that popped up as new is that within the camera app, you can now scan QR and barcode straight from the app. So let's hop into the camera app and test that out, actually. So here's just a quick box of some light bulbs, actually, that I have. So let's go ahead and try and scan it. So you'll see auto scanning. You can now scan QR codes. I'm going to press this button right here, and we're going to search for it. So let's see what pops up. You'll see Globe Electronics, just some light bulbs, and of course, it worked just fine. Android Marshmallow brings now on tap. I do have a full demonstration. I'll link to that in the description, but you'll see here if I press and hold on the home button, instead of taking you to Google now, it's going to scan the screen and you'll see that it's found my name within the display. You'll see AMOLED screen. I'm not sure why that popped up, but Chipotle. Chipotle was text on the display. You'll see you could go to their Google, their maps, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. A little hidden feature right here is when you go to the settings icon, you could press and hold on it. And you'll see it to start to spin in the background there. If you let go, it's going to enable system UI tuner. So when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, system UI tuner is there. So you'll see it's fun for some, but not for all. I'm going to hit got it. Now here's what some settings are. You can go to quick settings where you can customize uh, where each one is. So if you want to move location to where do not disturb is, you can. And do not disturb just gets bumped over right there. Going back once more and here is my favorite is status bar where you if you don't want a specific icon to show up and clutter up your your icon i guess so if let's say for example you don't want the wi-fi icon you can press that you'll see up at the top that wi-fi icon just disappeared reappeared going back you can show an embedded battery percentage which is good when it's below 50 percent as you can see it's easy to see but when it's above 50 percent, it's really difficult to see and then demo mode just kind of switches it for screenshots um just full battery full everything Something else updated in Marshmallow is with the volume rockers. So if I press volume up, you'll see it turns on alarms, goes to vibrate. You have a button right here, which takes you to media and alarm volume. Now, also, if you go down once more, it's going to put you into alarms only mode. So until you hit do not disturb. So to change do not disturb, you'll see it's in these quick settings. So now do not disturb. If you want to turn it on, you have priority only. You can have it for one hour, two hours, three hours, up to... Looks like 12 hours. You can have alarms only as well for a certain amount of time and also total silence. Text selection got a much needed update. So you'll see here, if I go to the right, it's gonna select the entire word. But if I go to the left, it's going to go letter by letter, which is really nice. Letting go, you have cut, copy, share right above it. And then also if you have Google Translate installed, it has system-wide translation, which is really great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into settings here, go into sound and notifications. And then other sounds, something that's new is charging sounds. If you don't want those on, you can turn those off. When it comes to battery life, it does have doze. So if your phone is not being used and sitting there for a long amount of time, it's not going to take up nearly as much battery as it did on Lollipop. Now going back, there's a specific memory section which tells you how much RAM you're using over a certain amount of time. You can go app by app as well, letting you know which app is using how much RAM. And speaking of apps, Android Marshmallow brings specific app permissions. So going into apps, going into settings, you'll see app permissions letting you know which app is using what specific function of the phone. So if you want to go and see which ones are accessing your camera, all of these apps have access to your camera. If you don't want it to have specific access, you can just go ahead and deny it access. And of course, Motorola has their custom tweaks to the Android operating system, which are not within the settings anymore. They're actually just in the Moto app which you can find in the app drawer. So going into Moto, you'll see you have Actions, which chop twice for flashlight, which you'll see turned on and should turn off as well. And then also Twist for quick capture. Going to open up that camera application. Now going back, finally, they, it has Moto Display as well. So they included that as well when your phone is just sitting there, not being used. It's going to occasionally when you get uh, notifications or if you move the phone a certain way, you'll see that uh, Moto display pops up and you can check your notifications. But that's about it. So that's Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Moto G third generation. I'll keep you guys updated with all phone updates. So make sure you're subscribed. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.